Hi everybody, it's RPG Grandma with the Instant Ice Cube Trap from The Lost Room 1, that 1984 book that's been re reprinted. Um, this is more or less your standard pitfall wherein the hapless Boo falls through the trap door 30 feet or so down into about 10 feet deep water. The kicker here is that as soon as he splashes fully, i.e. totally submerged into it, a mystic mouth casts a spell that causes the water to instantly harden into ice, one frozen sucker coming up. As most living creatures cannot survive, such cold for long or intense instant lack of air death shortly say in three mealy rounds or less follows also note that a 10 foot cube of ice frozen solidly into place at the bottom of a 30 foot deep shaft ain't easy to get out of if you really want to be nasty about it make the ice cube bigger than the actual drop shaft is Short of sending someone down the 30 foot, I don't have my space today, <laughs> down the 30 foot shaft, then chipping the poor victim out, there is no really way to get them up. Oh, a flashpoint or other similar spell of intense heat, example, a fireball, would most certainly melt the ice, but it would also create superheated steam that would parboil the entrapped person as well. No, the slow ice pick way is the only safe way to get the person out of this one. All right, nasty trap. That's what I'm giving you guys today. Traps, monsters, various encounters should not always be balanced. I know that's the modern mantra. They need to be challenges to deal with. Um, this is a challenge to deal with. It's pretty much death. There's probably some ways of mitigating this kind of trap, but um, it's not going to be easy. You're talking about instant, instantly freezing somebody. Now, this is obviously created from a uh, fantasy perspective, but you could rework this into um, modern, even in sci-fi, things where you know they're like in a factory and uh, this is a freezing method that the factory is using and somebody falls into that part of the factory's freezing mechanism and is instantly frozen um, it could be because of a natural phenomenon that you have occurring on a regular basis and that's the trap so every so often something, um, you know, some kind of natural uh, quick freezing phenomenon happens and they're in the water, you know. So if they don't get out of the water in time, it freezes. You know, that's why there's all these ice cubes floating around in this lake. And they crawled into the cave that's making the ice cubes. You know, the cave with the water entrance, that kind of thing. So... There you go. I mean, there's different ways to put this trap into effect. It doesn't have to be just from the, the mystic mouth. So why am I giving you a trap that could instantly kill a party? Well, first of all, that's very old school. There's a lot of traps. It's basic, basically, it doesn't matter how many hit points the person has. If they're crushed by a nine ton boulder, they are dead. Okay, that, like it says that. So this is that kind of trap. Um, uh, the other thing is balance today seems to mean the party always wins and you can't have that because it takes the threat of danger out of the game and then you're just playing immortals who can't possibly really be killed and um, it's just not as fun it's, it just isn't got to have that 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 edge of danger a little bit to in, in invest in the paper person and attempt to keep the paper person alive um, versus my paper person can do anything and nothing can touch it ha ha it's 
that's a very different gameplay. Now, games like Arduin, and uh, eventually in D&D, first D&D &D did it, and then it developed it, have Resurrection. Um, so that's a possibility if you get the person out. Um, Sci-fi tropes, I mean, there's lots of where people get frozen and brought back to life, you know. Um, but they have to be taken through a process, which you could argue is, well, resurrection. Um, but at any rate, there you go. Some, some good old-fashioned death. You know, and also, you know, if you got a properly put together party, not just the, the, the regular characters, but with NPCs in it, um, you know, nothing scares the willies out of a party than seeing the torchbearer hirely that they've had for a few sessions fall into the pit and get instantly frozen. I mean, it, it does kind of set the atmosphere for the rest of the adventure wherever this trap is. And you could stick this in the, you could stick this in a bunch of places. So there you go. Everybody have a great day. Um, players, remember that your DM just might be plotting to kill your paper person. And DMs, plot away. Be the evil overlord you always wanted to be. <laughs> Everybody have fun. Have a great day. Bye.